Let us now pray the Oratio Imperata for protection against COVID-19. Please all kneel. Merciful and compassionate Father, we come to you in our need to seek your protection against the COVID-19 that has disturbed and claimed many lives. We ask you now to look upon us with love and by your healing hand, Dispel the fear of sickness and death. Restore our hope and strengthen our faith. We pray that you guide the people tasked to find cures for this disease and to stem its transmission. We thank you for the vaccines developed made possible by your guiding hands. Bless our efforts to use these vaccines to end the pandemic in our country. We pray for our health workers that they may minister to the sick with competence and compassion. Grant them health in mind and body, strength in their commitment, protection from the disease. We pray for those afflicted. May they be restored to health. Protect those who care for them. Grant eternal rest to those who have died. Give us the grace in these trying times to work for the good of all and to help those in need. May our concern and compassion for each other see us through this crisis and lead us to conversion and holiness. Grant all this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. We fly to your protection, O Holy Mother of God. Do not despise our petition in our necessities, but deliver us always from all dangers, O glorious and blessed Virgin. Amen. Our Lady, Health of the Sick, Pray for us. Saint Joseph, Pray for us. Saint Raphael the Archangel, Pray for us. San Roque, pray for us. San Lorenzo Ruiz, pray for us. San Pedro Calungsod, pray for us. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. My dear brothers and sisters, in this Eucharistic celebration, our Lord Jesus Christ invites us to learn from Him, to learn from His heart, so that He could give us rest. To prepare ourselves to celebrate this Holy Mass, let us first acknowledge our sins and humbly ask the Lord for His pardon and strength. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us. Forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. O God, who show the light of your truth to those who go astray, so that they may return to the right path, give all who for the faith they profess are accounted Christians, the grace to reject whatever is contrary to the name of Christ and to strive after all that does it honor. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. 
Please be seated. A reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah. The way of the just is smooth. The path of the just you make level. Yes, for your way and your judgments, O Lord, we look to you. Your name and your title are the desire of our souls. My soul yearns for you in the night. Yes, my spirit within me keeps vigil for you. When your judgment dawns upon the earth, the world's inhabitants learn justice. O oh Lord, you met out peace to us, for it is you who have accomplished all we have done. O oh Lord, oppressed by your punishment, we cried out in anguish under your chastising. As a woman about to give birth writes and cries out in her pains, so were we in your presence, O oh Lord. We conceive and write in pain, giving birth to wind. Salvation we have not achieved for the earth. The inhabitants of the world cannot bring it forth. But your dead shall live, their corpses shall rise. Awake and sing, you will lie in the dust. For your dew is a dew of life, and the land of shades gives birth. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. From heaven, the Lord look, looks down on earth. From heaven, the Lord looks down on the earth. You, O Lord, abide forever, and your name through all generations. You will arise and have mercy on Zion, for it is time to pity her, for her stones are dear to your servants, and her dust moves them to pity. From heaven the Lord looks down on the earth. The nations shall revere your name, O Lord and all the kings of the earth your glory when the lord has rebuilt Zion and appeared in his glory when he has regarded the prayer of the destitute and not despised their prayer from heaven the lord looks down on the earth let this be written for the generation to come and let his future creatures praise the lord the Lord looked down from his holy height. From heaven he beheld the earth to hear the groaning of the prisoners, to release those doomed to die. From heaven the Lord looks down on the earth. Please all stand. Come to me, all you have, la you who labor and burdened, and I will give give you rest," says the Lord. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said, 
Come to me, all you who labor and are burdened, and I will give you rest. Take my yoke upon you and learn from me, for I am meek and humble of heart, and you will find rest for yourselves. For my yoke is easy and my burden light. Brothers and sisters, the Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. My dear brothers and sisters, whenever we hear this short but beautiful Gospel passage, what word comes to our mind immediately? What word do we focus on? Most of the time, we immediately look at the word rest. Kaya lang baka sabihin sa atin ni Lord, magisimula pa lang ang araw at trabaho, rest agad, no? Let us focus also on the word to learn. Because Jesus said, you will find rest when you learn from me. Jesus did not just say, come and rest. Jesus said, come and learn from me and I will give you rest. And Jesus tells us, take my yoke and learn from me for I am meek and humble of heart. My dear brothers and sisters, the yoke becomes easy, the burden becomes light when it comes from a heart that is meek and humble. The heart, the intentions of the heart will decide if your work will become burdensome or light. Sa araw po na ito, tingnan natin ano ba ang intensyon ng inyong puso sa pagtatrabaho. Kasi kung ano ang laman ng puso, ano ang iyong motibasyon at intensyon, diyan manggagaling kung ang iyo bang trabaho ay nakakapagod at nakakasawa o ang iyong trabaho ay magiging magaan gawin. Today, let us look at the motivations of our hearts because this will decide will our work become burdensome or light? Halimbawa, nagtatrabaho ka ano ba ang intention mo sa pagtatrabaho? Baka ang iniisip mo palagi, ah, I want to compete with this co-worker. No? Gusto kong malamangan siya palagi. Kailangan mas mataas ako palagi sa kanya. I want to get the higher position. Aba, ay talagang mapapagod ka niyan, araw-araw. If that is the content of your heart and mind, just to compete in work, then your work will truly become burdensome. Baka nagtatrabaho tayo just because we want to gain attention to ourselves. We want to gain titles and attention. Baka isang oras ka sa make-up. Kami make-up sa umaga at hindi sa trabaho. Nako, work will really become burdensome if the intention is just to gain attention. Sa amin ngang mga pare, may biruan din kami. What is the intention of your work? Just to become a bishop? Just to become a monsignor? If that is your intention in your heart, nako, priesthood will become burdensome to you you will not become happy. And when you do not become a bishop, you will become frustrated. 
the heart decides, your motivation and intentions decides if your work will become burdensome or light. My dear brothers and sisters, let our prayer be the prayer of the first reading today. The prayer in our first reading today is this. O Lord, we look to you. Your name and your title are the desire of our souls, not our own names, not our own titles, but your name and your title is the desire of our souls. My soul yearns for you, for it is you who have accomplished all we have done. My dear brothers and sisters, let us yearn and look for God. Let us learn from God. Because without God, even rest can become burdensome. But with God, even the yoke becomes easy and light. Amen. Please all stand. Jesus said, Come to me, all you who labor and are burdened, and I will give you rest. Confident of this promise, we now present to him our needs. For every petition, let us say, Jesus, you are our peace. Jesus, you are our peace. That the church may guide us in ways of peace and reconciliation. Let us pray to the Lord. Jesus, Jesus you, you are, are our, our peace. peace that those who are tempted to despair under the crushing weight of their problems may seek refuge by placing their anxieties and worries in the hands of Jesus. Let us pray to the Lord. Jesus, you are our peace. That those who are suffering from mental torment may find peace in Christ. Let us pray to the Lord. Jesus, Jesus you, you are, are our, our peace. peace. That those who are weighed down by bodily pain and illness may find comfort and healing in the care and concern of those who nurse them. Let us pray to the Lord. Jesus, Jesus you, you are, are our, our peace. peace. That those who have died may enjoy the everlasting happiness in the kingdom of God. Let us pray to the Lord. Jesus, you, you are, are our peace. Heavenly Father, your Son promised to give us rest when overburdened. Grant that we may always respond to his guidance and strengthen us to be instruments of his peace. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated.
all stand. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy church. Look upon the offerings of the church, O Lord, as she makes her prayer to you, and grant that when consumed by those who believe, they may bring ever greater holiness. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just. Our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For although you have no need of our praise, yet our thanksgiving is itself your gift, since our praises add nothing to your greatness, but profit us for salvation through Christ our Lord. And so in company with the choirs of angels, we praise you, and with joy we proclaim, Holy, 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 holy Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Please kneel. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dew fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed, and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread, and giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. Please all stand. The Mystery of Faith We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, 
We offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Jose, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us now offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Please kneel. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord I, am I am not worthy, worthy that, that you should enter under, under my roof, but, but only, only say, say the, the word, and, and my soul shall be healed. Brothers and sisters, the body of Christ. Amen. Act of Spiritual Communion My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, Come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you 
as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Please all stand. Let us pray. Having consumed these gifts, we pray, O Lord, that by our participation in this mystery, its saving effects upon us may grow. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless all of you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go forth. The Mass is ended. Thanks be to God.